Okay, Johnny Twenty Three back again with another video, and hey guys, I am gonna be reacting to something that is uh very relevant to me actually, and a bunch of people that might be subscribing to me or might be friends of mine that are starting YouTube channels and everything. Um, I'm gonna be watching PewDiePie's uh is YouTube screwing over small channels uh video, and this is because YouTube has re recently been sending emails out. Uh, to people such as me, uh, how we c are not going to be able to monetize our videos anymore because we are not meeting the new criteria for YouTube. This is in order for YouTube to like uh, die down on like <clears throat> scammers, uh, people that are impersonators, and people that are trying to mess up YouTube and just trying to uh, milk YouTube out for money and everything like that. And it's uh, apparently going to harm. 90% of all the small YouTubers in, uh, yeah, all 90% of all the small YouTubers on YouTube that have less than a thousand subscribers and or get and or get 4,000 uh, hours of <clears throat> watch time. So yeah, I'm gonna check back in with you guys and start the video and let's start now YouTube toughens advert payment rules oh this is it YouTube now you've made me really mad I'm so angry I challenge you is that to Z? battle <laughs> <laughs> This announcement was trending on Twitter. Hashtag YouTube Partner yeah. Program. YouTubers were tweeting about it, having different opinions about it. Controversial. Of course it but is. the problem here is that they're all wrong. They're all How is everybody wrong. wrong? I am the only one that is correct. Of course, PewDiePie. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me just PewDiePie. explain what the what is happening. Basically, YouTube came out and said that surprise! If you don't have 4,000 hours of watch yep. time and a thousand yep. subscribers, then you mean nothing to me. They, they didn't exactly say that. To be fair, that's not what they said. But basically, that yeah. was it. I like how they added we at the end of the statement. Though. One of YouTube's core values is to provide anyone the opportunity to earn money from a thriving channel. Well, now you're kind of saying one yeah. thing and doing the other. You can't do that. Now, my personal reaction to this was the first instinct was, oh, okay, so Logan Paul filmed a yeah. dead body and smaller channels has to suffer. Uh, how does that make any uh -huh. sense? It almost sounds a bit similar to the apocalypse where YouTube said that YouTube would no longer allow creators to make money until they reach 10,000. Exactly, like what the Big fuck? creator messes up small channels suffer i am so sorry about the adpocalypse by the way in case i haven't apologized okay that was definitely me that put those advertisements on those military isis racist videos okay i'm sorry about that though i feel really bad about it basically the reason why youtube did this is because they said I'm phrasing, it's been clear over the last few months that we need the right requirements and better signals to identify channels that have earned the right to run ads. So basically adding the bar to 10,000 views was just not yeah. enough for YouTube it to make sure that ads that. don't appear on like, videos. Like, it shouldn't be that hard for that me to they don't want that, it to. It and uh, you know, I gotta give YouTube props for always, always, anytime they announce anything, it's always such a mess. No one really knows what is going on, and it leads people to be confused and angry. And it's just the same thing every time. People are saying that, so now if I'm not in the partnership program anymore, does that mean my videos aren't going to get recommended because they're not earning revenue? Which YouTube has said no to before, but it's still kind of like, uh, is that really true? Everyone seemed to notice the difference. Uh, people asking like, oh, okay, so now I'm not in the partnership program anymore. Uh, but what about promotion and I can't schedule yeah, uploads exactly. and uh, losing all these benefits? What is that going to mean for me? And why isn't that just a standard for anyone yeah. to really? And also people exactly. who is not in the partnership program anymore is asking like, hey, 
Am I even gonna get paid? I don't think I we're gonna get paid. It's not a lot of money, but we're not am I gonna paid. get it or not? Like, it, I think probably you are. We're probably not. But getting the paid. fact that these questions aren't asked, answered, it's always such a mess, and it's always so unnecessary. A plus for YouTube for always communicating so well. Usually, I find that YouTube isn't half as evil as it seems to be during these things. It's just they can't seem to communicate uh, what it is they're mm -hmm. actually doing, and then all these, all this. Uh, outrage comes in and then they just pull back even more. Mm -hmm. Now we have YouTubers like Keemstar. So now everyone's asking me, well, what advice do you have for small YouTubers? Quit. You cannot make it in this game anymore. All right. You're not going oh, to that's make great. it. That's there so is positive. way too much competition. Technically, he's not wrong. It's tough as hell to be a YouTuber these days. But the thing is, it's always been hard. YouTube right now really pushes for watch time. Yeah, exactly. Unless you, so you upload post regularly a lot. and long That's videos, one of the you are gonna suck. I probably and I think this is the real the issue. I used this to. is what you should be pissed off. So I used to post that every single day. And a really good channels don't get as much exposure as they might deserve because they don't fit in this quota. And it's always been like this. Channels come and mm -hmm. go on YouTube because they maybe fit what the algorithm of YouTube wants. And it's always just been a wave of people coming and going and that may not deserve it or not because of this. YouTube has never turned a profit, ever, since they, they've done it. And I think they're really trying to, to change that. But if anything, it's shown that YouTube is not a sustainable business model. Uh, at least exactly. no one's done it right yet. And that's why there's no competition to YouTube, just because it's so hard to figure out. Even you have some YouTube being so extremely successful with its creator, uh, it's still not profiting. YouTube said that it would manly, manually review all relevant content by the end of March because of this Logan Paul thing. They said that they're going to have more than 10,000 workers reviewing clips by the 10, end of 2018. 10,000? Damn. Uh, wow. That's a lot of workers to review videos. Now here's my, my main point with this. is This tweet that I saw actually uh, yesterday. Ha ha ha, my sister used to upload littlest pet shop videos on YouTube uh, when she was nine and she accidentally enabled ad revenue, which checked her AdSense account yesterday and she made 1,500 bucks. What? To turn up. Like, that's awesome. I'm not gonna that's hate on saying. that. That's I don't awesome. really have an issue with it. This is what YouTube trying to prevent with this move. There's only so many ads on YouTube. It's not an infinite amount. You may be watching my channel sometimes and there's no ads on it. And uh, that might be because there was not enough ads to go around. It happens all the time mm -hmm. that you watch a video. Exactly. Ads might be enabled, but they don't show up because there's not enough to go around. And I personally think that stopping channels that are coming out of nowhere just to upload other people's contents like movies and TV shows mm -hmm. and that stuff, cutting off those people from making revenue and taking away ads from channels that are actually dedicated and, and uploading videos it makes sense yeah. to me a lot of people get really pissed because of the 4,000 hours thing and i understand that that's frustrating but people did the math and essentially it comes down to like four dollars four bucks a month or something like mm -hmm. that and if you're arguing about that amount then maybe you should ask yourself why are you making youtube videos it's always been hard to be a small like channel. it's not about always. the money it's not about the money at all uh, back in the in day youtube opinion. used to have a manual partnership program it just sucks for a bunch of people that like probably get it in and like, trust videos. me you needed more than a thousand subscribers to get into that uh if anything it's clearly been too easy to put ads on your channel and four bucks that doesn't seem like you're you're looking at the bigger picture if you're complaining about that personally i didn't make any revenue off youtube after making videos for a whole year, even more. I think I had like 25,000 subscribers and YouTube wouldn't touch my channel. They wouldn't partner it. And it was extremely frustrating because I, I, I felt like I had, I had the chance to finally push and, and make it into a living, but I couldn't. But it was way beyond $4. <laughs> I understand that it's tough as mm -hmm. hell to get to a thousand subscribers. And I remember that seeing, seeing impossible. But if you're looking at it as a way to, you should earn revenue before that, so you can get a few dollars, that doesn't, to me, doesn't really justify the the end goal that they're trying to do exactly. here. Blocking out people from uploading uh, bad content to YouTube or 
perhaps creating another media shit store. The only way I could earn revenue back in the day was to sign up with a network because YouTube wouldn't touch gaming channels and I only did gaming channel back then. And so many YouTubers, not just me, but just got royally screwed over by networks. Uh, taking what, like half of their revenue and giving what back? Yeah, that's true. People don't talk about that. But four dollars, oh no. Like, yes, it's, it's hard as hell to be a small channel. I know that. But it sure as hell wasn't easier back in the day. I think it's great that YouTube is partnering channels now and this is what they have to do to make it happen. And it seems just fair to me, even though it might seem harsh. It's good. A lot of people saying, well, it's motivating maybe getting a little bit of revenue and seeing that you are earning something. I agree, but the ends doesn't justify mm -hmm. the means. And at the end of the day, I think it's sort of a healthy approach that maybe you shouldn't be earning revenue the very first thing. Maybe that should be a goal. Maybe you should be incentivized to work on your subscribers and building an audience first instead of earning revenue mm -hmm. first. I understand that there's more things to yeah. it, but to me, YouTube is like a runner, the fastest runner alive. And then someone just tied his shoes together and he fell and now he's retarded. I stole that joke from Brad, but it's so true. Since there's no competition to YouTube, I think it's very important that when bad things happen or when they do bad things that we do uh, stand up against them. I think it's important that we, do, we are united as a community, but I also feel like this is not that mm -hmm. big a deal. Save your energy and save your outrage for something more important that will have a bigger um, effect on the platform. And I hope that smaller channels don't get discouraged by this keep working hard i know it sucks it's always sucked uh, i do see new channels thrive and it and it is an impossible anyway i've been going on for too long and uh, that's just my thought about it what do you think is youtube screwing over its creators here's a poll and that's it for me for now goodbye uh that's the end of the video i think pewdiepie does make a good he makes a good point that a lot of youtubers like when they started off youtube that are still around today even they weren't making any money off of youtube and any, any of that and i'm perfectly fine and i understand that and everything loki this sucks for everybody that's kind of like me and is making is like get, putting out videos less often and probably doesn't have the time to keep on pushing the way that everybody else is on YouTube because they got like school and stuff and like that probably isn't an excuse because I know a lot of people on YouTube that are in school and still make it somehow and they they work it out for themselves it's just hard it's it's a hard and complicated thing to talk about I think personally that this isn't screwing up uh cha channels it isn't really screwing up channels it is just more it's just a another i feel like it's maybe another setback or maybe it's even a motivator to have channels like mine keep on going forward if anybody like i i've seen i've been seeing lots of people do self for self because of this shit and do what you want to do um i really don't care yeah, it, like, I understand why people are doing this. I just think it isn't that big of a deal. Like PewDiePie said, it isn't that big of a deal. You should probably just keep on trying, keep on working hard, just keep on hoping, keep on doing the best you can. Like me, like I say this time and time again, I started off from a damn broken ass iPhone and now I have a camera, I have a mic, I have a tripod, uh, I got subscribers. I have friends that actually care. I got people that ask me about making videos and shit for them. And um, I I get lots of opportunities, more opportunities than I did before. And I know more than I did before from this. So I'm very grateful for that. And I didn't get any of that money. I didn't get any of the money from the, any of the money to get that stuff from YouTube. YouTube YouTube's only paid me eight bucks. Yeah, like less than eight bucks, like seven something. Um, and 
yeah, I shouldn't I shouldn't really complain. A lot of people, a lot of other people shouldn't really complain unless they're getting like a viral like viral videos or like two viral videos and they're still hitting that one thousand subscriber mark, which is would be insane if you keep on getting viral videos and shit. But that's just how it is. Leave your comments down below if you have some opinions on this. I know there are gonna be a lot of small YouTube channels that are gonna be watching this. Leave leave some comments below. In the next video, probably I'll just shout some of you guys out because I know it's tough out there now and everything and yeah subscribe to my channel like comment um, leave your opinions down below thank you guys for watching throughout this video if you got here if you got here comment well if you got here comment down your opinions and I will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching bye Fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star All my brothers got that gas and they always be smoking like a rock star Fucking with me, call up on no Uzi and show up, man, them the shot tops